So this video is sponsored by Bityard, a crypto exchange with 9 out of 10 stars by the Coin Bureau guy, 400 cryptos to choose from from their spot exchange, derivatives that include commodities, forex and traditional markets, as well as inverse perpetual coin futures, USDT perpetual futures and leveraged tokens. You can even set up a copy trading account so people can copy your trades and you earn commission on those trades, or you can follow other traders who have better results than you. Set an account up with a link in the description and get mystery box bonuses for completing random tasks. Bit yard. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at uh, Ethereum and the altcoin market for, for what it's worth. Um, we'll have a quick look at this. So this is Ethereum to Bitcoin. So there's a, there's a few things about this chart right now and, and a few charts right now that would suggest that this is the moment that we kind of waited for for a well, I mean, when was it on the dominance chart? It's been going back a while now since we uh, alternated back into a Bitcoin. It's probably about up to since January. Yeah, so since January, we've been saying, okay, altcoins are altcoins. They do what they do. They are what they are. But it really, you can't justify an altcoin position uh, this side, you know, this position in the... Uh, of the of the dominance chart, uh, much to the disgust of people that find this chart highly irrelevant. But I see that it's creeping back into the uh, in, into the forum now. Everybody seems to be talking about the dominance chart. Uh, well, for me, it never went away, guys. Never went away. It's always been the key, really, to trading crypto, uh, and, uh, and and a pr pretty good key, like a master key, really. So we'll take all this crap off here because obviously. This is just showing how bullish it actually is. Uh, we've got continuation of trend signals and everything really that you'd want to see out of a chart that's only going to go, go up. But what you know, even in in moments like that, you do have resistances. This box representing a box of resistance going back multi years really. So uh, supports over here, resistance over here, and uh, and more or less resistance since we came down here since the May crash really. So, so that's the first time we got into a, a Bitcoin position as we got lower and lower and lower uh, out of Bitcoin into. All uh, sorry, out of altcoins into Bitcoin uh, to protect ourselves from that horrendous dump. Anyway, some small alt seasons have taken place within there, and we might be looking for a similar kind of uh, situation here, though I would not expect a retrace all the way down to these levels, certainly not. Because like I say, the chart this time now, we've accumulated, if that's what you want to call it, um, uh, down in this level, uh, the, uh, the, the power to actually break out now. So this is what we've been talking about this whole time, for probably over a year since we came down into here, you know, a year ago in May, you know, May 2021. Uh, while being down here, Bitcoin positions are the better positions. While being up here, altcoin positions are the better positions. And this is how we ro rotate into the market. So I've been saying that, yeah, well, a resistance is a resistance. And when you approach a resistance, you have to consider it becoming and acting like a resistance. And so although that this is a bullish chart with all those bullish indicators, there is a chance that we do have a, a reaction from here, although it rel it's going to be relatively small. So that now we can marry that idea, uh, like I say, because this isn't perfect. It's choppy. Uh, and it's, you know, the odds are uh, in favor of this breaking out anyway, over 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 probably a quite a reasonably small period of time. Um, but there, there, the odds are ever slightly better now uh, that we have reached the center of this zone approaching these previous tops around 48 towards 49, that we all get a, re a rejection and that would, you know, dollar for dollar, uh, be better thinking about putting in some money into altcoins. No, I'm not saying that you should do that. Absolutely not. No, the best thing for you to do is do your own thing because uh, this is a hard market to trade in right now. It's, it's very difficult for any kind of spot trading uh, to take place, especially uh, trying to uh, guess a, a rotation using these, um, you, you know, using these charts that we're going to marry together at the moment. So you do what you want. It's obviously very risky and I'll show you how risky it is in a minute. So again, yeah, I'm looking for a small reaction here, maybe coming down to potentially 45, maybe, maybe maybe but we'll see because again you know bitcoin is leading the market and it looks to me like it's got a little bit further to go down especially when it comes to time uh, and price and moving averages so let's 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 have a think about um uh, what's going on for ethereum so ethereum uh, as you probably are aware uh, overnight came down to touch its previous bull market top so that in itself uh, is, a, is, is a resistance at stroke support because it's not been tagged since we were down here. We, we, we got this huge lift off and came down into it and, uh, and then went on to make these, these, these new all-time highs. Now, we don't have to have a reaction from here at all. That is just a horizontal of 
of, of just, I wouldn't even say significance, of interest, really, of interest. If we're thinking about this in a T8 standpoint, really, you'll be looking for much lower zones, 1,200 to start with, and probably more likely around 800, which corresponds to a bit more significant area price action-wise in the last areas over here, whether it's bull market or bear market, uh, not so much this time around. So there is a very strong chance that, uh, that this does end up breaking down, not just below the 12,000, uh, 1,200, sorry, uh, but actually down to about 800 by the time this is all done and over with now i'm going to make a video on bitcoin later on today uh showing i suppose trying to explain what it is that we are looking at price price wise and time wise and throw a few i've alluded to them in, in previous videos but throw a few um possible outcomes out there but we've got to recognize that this isn't an exclusively crypto related bear market this is not just for major indices uh it's an economic pullback of quite a reasonably big proportion right so it's not exclusive to, to crypto everything's going down absolutely everything everything is coming down so recognize that and we can suck that up and and uh, and uh, realize that all right bitcoin and crypto is just caught in a bigger picture of a pullback and uh, and, it's getting, and it's getting pretty ridiculous, I have to say. But uh, like I say, if you're like me and you've got money on the sidelines, red candles are very attractive, you know. They're very attractive. And, you know, uh, all those people who are, are waiting for the absolute low, you know, to go all in, obviously you will be feeling the excitement. For me, the best thing to do is to buy into certain areas. So that's why I pulled the trigger uh, last night on my uh, on my bots, you know, getting, getting my positions ready. Uh, again, you know, buying the dip, but it keeps dipping. 9% uh, down from allocating positions in uh, KCS and Ethereum, that's fine. Uh, and I'll be looking to, uh, to to spread that around into some bots probably next week. But it doesn't mean I'm looking to catch the absolute low. I'm just thinking about the dominance chart marked with that previous all-time high. Although I dis I have already said that I, I, I can see easily how Ethereum can come down to 800. And if it were to do that, trust me, I'll be buying that dip. I'll be buying that dip. Probably not at 800, but probably around 900 just to get in there. I think it would be an absolute steal. To expect it to come down a great deal much lower than that would be... Uh, you know, that would be ultimate hopium. So we can see this uh, big, uh, Ethereum 2 Bitcoin area. Um, we have find, uh, found ourselves on a weekly 200 exponential moving average. Now this chart, you know, has only had that going for, uh, for you know, I suppose just about a year. So it's not, it's never been, it's never been relevant before. We've never really seen it get tagged before. Um, and this is the first time it's been tagged. So this corresponds to a dominance resistance area. It also uh, corresponds to Ethereum's previous all-time high uh, on the te on, on its tether pair. It doesn't really respond to a great deal outside of that. Um, but we can we can look at these things and go, okay, well there's there's there is some kind of relevance to it to an extent. There uh, we are looking at a basic a resistance area a bit of a support area but nothing really and again just a 200 simple moving average uh, exponential moving average sorry on your uh, bitcoin pair again this is a bit flimsy similar to the way that this is also a bit flimsy because it's just an area of um, interest more than significance so i wouldn't expect it to hold i'd just be i, I would be i would expect a reaction uh, but i wouldn't be yeah i wouldn't be like amazed if we didn't get one because again it doesn't correspond to anything outside of the chart on this chart at least anyway and uh, even though we've at the same time hit this area here and the dominance you know, resistance area it's still the risk to reward is still obviously not great you know it's not great so you, if you're going to be playing something like this you don't want to be playing it with an, an enormous amount of money really you really don't want to do it um because because it's deadly it's dangerous so there we go we've alluded to the fact that we could find a bounce for ethereum uh, on its bitcoin pair and on its tether pair uh, just uh, just just because they are that we have approached areas um you know which corresponds to previous horizontals bull market tops and moving averages and we've alluded to the idea that uh, that the that the that the, uh, the bitcoin dominance chart has now approached close to uh, the top uh, the topier area of these previous supports which is about 48 48.7% so as we approach that 48% dominance that's more of an interesting place to think about going into some altcoins if if of course your balls are massive and they can withstand a serious kicking 
to which you may receive. But outside of that, you know, the, the, the overall picture is one of uh, continuation down for prices uh, versus, you know, dollars, pa you know, and uh, pounds and euros or whatever. That, 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 that is the overall picture. Uh, but if there were to be a bounce, this is what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for this read to, uh, to, to, to appear on the dominance chart, you know, this rough area to appear in the dominance chart. We've been waiting for this effectively since, you know, January. Uh, but we've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks more and more as we get closer and closer to it. So if there is going to be an area for a potential risky altcoin trade, this is kind of it. This is kind of it, really. And uh, it, it's, like I say, it, it matches with where Ethereum is uh, on its Tether pair and on its Bitcoin pair. But again, n all of it is relatively flimsy. It's not as easy as, you know, a much higher dominance read with a much more significant support on those pairs. So recognize it for what it is. It is a setup. But it's not great. It's not great. But it is a setup. The risk to reward isn't great. Um, I'd probably say the risk to reward is almost probably about 50-50 really. So it's definitely a gamble. But if, uh, if anyone wants to try it, I could understand why you would make that decision based upon what we've just spoken about. Anyway, I'm going to make a video on Bitcoin later today. I won't bother uh, boring you all to death about the Bitcoin situation, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, I made a, I made a video yesterday about the inflation, and I kind of spoke a little bit about Bitcoin, but I think what I'll do is I'll make a full-on video about it today, because some people, you know, some people were unable to really understand what it is I was talking about. So I'll try and I'll try and communicate it to the best of my ability. Maybe I'll have a cup of Earl Grey tea before I start. I don't know. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice weekend. What's left of it? Try not to worry too much. And uh, yeah, take it easy.